Ice skater. At the home her suburban church named the Oasis of Hope, Karen Durham tries to create what she calls a safe house, where young people can escape, if only for a while, some of the dangers that define their everyday lives. Here, there's always running water, electricity, snacks, and something to do. Y'all know there's milk in that cooler. Thank you. God bless you. Surrounding the Oasis of Hope are the neighborhoods left behind when the middle class moved out. This neighborhood contributes to Memphis's standing this year as the city with the second highest homicide rate after Detroit. Almost everyone here knows someone who was killed. Makeshift memorials mark the spots. Studies show that people living in places like this actually suffer from post-traumatic stress disorder, like veterans of war. Mothers-to-be, like Precious, are told to avoid the physical and emotional strain that can damage an unborn child. The inner city is like the most stressful place, I think. Crime rate is too high. You see too much things goes on in the neighborhood. Stress plays a major role in pregnancy, too. If you stress that a lot, you can easily have a miscarriage. I know several people. We have lost their child due to a miscarriage. My friend Tanya, she lost her child. Like a couple of weeks ago, she lost her child. Precious's friend Tanya Conley lives with her grandmother and babysits her brother's children. Tanya was 17 when she got pregnant. She went into labor four months early. When he came out, he was already he was already dead. There's like two pictures of my baby and stuff. And let, let me hold my baby. I really wanted my baby. Words can't explain, I guess. There's something you live with forever. You have the loss of your unborn child. 